Groovy. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go Here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the fans' toys, Dune Runner. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Right up front, we have some lovely artwork there of Dune Runner, all like, hey, he's just a happy guy. And there he is in his alt mode, fans, toys, bloody bloody. Up top, we have Dune Runner. On the bottom, we have Dune Runner. On the side, Dune Runner. On the other side, Dune Runner. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. And as always, you have the quite lengthy bio that you can read on your own time. And that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the collector's card with another nice image there of Dune Runner. And on the back you have, again, the very lengthy bio, tech specs. If that interests you, hooray for cards. And moving right along, here we have Dune Runner, and this is Fans Toys Take on Beachcomber. And here he is in his alt mode, his little, little blue Dune buggy. Oh, look at him. Look at him, he's precious. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You have some nice transparent plastic there for the headlights, some nice silver. You do get some chrome there for the rims. And not a whole lot detail-wise. Again, keeping it simple for that cartoony look. You got the roll cage there, which is nice and chromed. Little seats in there. You can see a little dashboard, a little gear shift, steering wheel. We have the back here, just done in silver. And there's the back. There is the top. There is the bottom. You do have rolling wheels. He does roll as rolling things should. Hooray, hooray for rolling. And for comparison, here he is with the X Transbots Beachcomber. With the Power of the Primes Beachcomber. And here he is with Fans Toys Brawn. So you can see how that works out. So, there you go. Now, as far as accessories go, he includes his little pistol here, just done in dark gray. Again, with that simplified cartoony design there. And you can store this on the vehicle mode. You have to uh, undo the back part of the uh, roll cage here. You can see there's a little opening for it, and you just pop it in, and bring that back up, hook that back together, there you go. You can do his little dune running drive-bys and all that stuff. And he does have hood options, so if you want him to have the silver hood, uh, you get these pieces here, and these just tab on, like so, and you can have... The silver hood. Now, if you don't want that seam going down the middle, well, they got you covered there too, because they just give you one solid piece here, and you can just tab that over, and oops, just tab that over, and you can have that going on. Now, the downside of this is, obviously, you have to remove this for transformation, but if you use the two halves, then you can keep these on for the transformation, so there's a little bit of a trade-off there. But as always, it's yours, you can do what you want with it, and display it however you wish. So, there you have that. Um, you do have some other accessories, but that is for the robot mode, so we'll get to those when we get to robot mode. So yeah, that is basically it for the alt mode, so let's get down to a transformation, shall we? <laughs> the rubber tires don't let them spin that well. But let's remove that, and put that out of the way, and we'll remove the gun, and put that aside. And now we can commence! So, the first thing we want to do is, we do want to just undo roll cage here, just bring that back. We want to flip the little seats down. And once we've done that, we can come up front here and undo these front sections here. They do have been pretty securely. There we go, just bring that down. Uh, we can undo the headlights here. There's a little, uh, little nub that these go on. So you just bring them forward, 
and get those out of the way. Then you want to come down here. You want to undo this panel here and then bring this whole thing up like that. So untab that and just bring that up. And you just want to bring this up, bring these up on these, on these double hinges here. And then you want to undo those panels. So you just kind of want to get under here and just pop that up. Let's get under here and just pop that up. You do tap in very securely. I don't like using this for leverage, but sometimes you kind of have to. There we go. Just be careful. So yeah, just undo that and open those panels up like that. And then we can just grab all this and it helps if you uh, bring this whole section up like that. And that frees that up so you can just kind of extend it on that double hinge there. And that gives you room to operate. So at this point now, we can just fold his legs down. They'll come untabbed for you. And there we go. You can flip up this little panel here like that. And now we can work on his legs. So you want to take this little headlight section here and just rotate it down. And all this will basically swing up and over. And then you can just kind of push that down into the leg. And this panel, as you can see, is on double hinge. So this will just swing over. And you just push all of this down onto those tabs and tab it in like that. Once you do that, and you flip this little section in, bring these panels over, that will hook in right there to make his foot. And this will just come down, I'll tab in right there. This will just hang right there. And there you have a leg all done. Second verse is just like the first. So just bring that down and just swing that up and over. Tuck that down. Bring this over and tab it in, tab it in, like that. Flip that in, bring all this around, tab it in, bring that down, tab it in. And there you have the lower body all done. So now we move on to the upper body. So you just want to untab his arms here from the sides. Just bring those out to get things out of your way. Come back here and untab all of this, like so. And this back piece here has these little panels. You want to flip in and flip in, and all of this will just collapse forward on double hinge. It will kind of thoop itself into place, like so. Kind of get that out of the way. You can see his head in there. So just push his head. Push his head out like that, and they can get under here and pull up this panel like so. This section here, you want to rotate it in, and you will feel it just kind of snap into place right there like that. So then we can bring this back, and you just want to collapse this little double hinge in. This little post in there, just collapse that in so everything sits flush like that. Once you do that, you can bring all of this down. You can see there are little ports and slots for pegs and tabs. So just push all that in. Get it all nice and squozing as best as you can. And then just bring his head down. We'll tab in right there. And we are at the home stretch here. Now for the arms, you want to extend it right here first, like that, and then open up this panel. And this forearm is on a double hinge, so just extend that out, close that up, and there you go. Now, I had a breakage on mine. It was totally my fault because I did things in the wrong order, um, but I did break the little tab. This little tab there well, was that I broke because um, going back into uh, vehicle mode, you're supposed to compress the forearm in first. So when you're going back into vehicle mode, you want to compress the forearm, in first and then compress the arm what I did was I went to compress the arm first and I just pushed on this and I pushed a little too hard and it just snapped that tab off so don't do things in the wrong order compress the forearm first and then compress the shoulder that is the proper order of operations 
I did not do that properly, so that's why I broke that tab, so. Don't be a dumb dumb like me. There you go. <laughs> a word to the wise is sufficient, as a teacher of mine used to say. But there you go. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Woo, we're done. And there you go. There you have Dune Runner, aka Beachcomber, in his robot mode. And he's a good looking G1E Beachcomber. Very well done, in my opinion. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Let's get in close here, not. And it's just at his noggin. There's the noggin. You can see nice silver paint there for the visor. Got some silver paint there in the chest as well. Got the yellow, blue, and red there on his belly. And again, it's that simplified cartoony design. So it will fit in perfectly with your masterpieces. But all in all, very nicely done. Transformation, as you can see, is very clean. The only real kind of junk he has hanging off of him is just these little panels here. But other than that, it's a clean transformation. Everything just, just hides away beautifully. So very nicely done. Now, articulation-wise, um, his head is on a ball joint. You do get a little bit of wiggly-waggly. You can look up a little bit, look down. Head can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360, can move in and out. Your bicep rotation, you have 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow, oops, things came undone back here. That does, oh, I will say that doesn't peg in as well as I would like. I get it as squozing as I can, but it still kind of comes, kind of wants to come undone sometimes. But anyway, um, yeah, we covered the elbows. Um, as far as the hands, the hands can open and close, and you have your wrist rotation. Now, granted, if you do undo this, it will give him an ab crunch. So, hey, that's a thing you can do if you want to. Just undo that back there. You do have a waist rotation, which is quite stiff on mine. Um, you can raise these panels up. Even this little, uh, even this booty panel there. And legs can move forward that far, back that far outward. You can do the full splits. You get thigh rotation. You get 90 degrees of bend at the knee. It is a double jointed knee, but that only goes but so far. So it really only equates to 90 degrees of bend. And the feet, they can move up. Uh, they can't really move down, but you do have lots of ankle tiltage. And of course we can give him his little pistol here. Let's see, typical tab in the slot of the palm. Method of weapon holding. Just get that in there. Get his fingers wrapped around it. He does hold it very securely. And he can pew pew bang bang, pew pew, bang bang, and all of that. Good stuff right there. And if you opted for the silver panels, on the hood, then, you know, they just end up right there on his legs in robot mode. So, hey, if you like that look, you can have that look going. Me, personally, I don't like that look. But, hey, as always, it's yours. Display it however you wish. And the last thing to talk about is uh, the optional heads that are included. You get three extra heads with this figure. Now, the head that is on him right now, you can see, yeah, it's like a little bit... Like a little bit of a smirk going on there. Um, to swap the heads, you do have to loosen this screw in the back of his head. So just give it a couple turns with a screwdriver. And you can pop his head right off. And he does have just kind of a very serious stern face there. And you can have that going if you want. If you want a more serious looking beachcomber, you can totally have that going on. Or you can give him this head, which is him just totally, hey, 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 how you doing? Hey, yeah, you can have that going on if you want to, or you can have this head with his uh, 
what I call the Bird Whisperer visor. This is when he's uh, learning to talk to the birds in the Golden Lagoon episode. So you can have that going on. You know, as always, recreating that one thing that happened in that one scene in that one episode of the cartoon. Hey, it's the masterpiece thing. But, you know, you can have that going on if you want to. But me personally, I just like having the, uh, this little smirk head. That's the one I prefer. But hey, again, it's yours. Do what you want. So there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with the uh, Power of the Primes. Beachcomber. And no, I don't have a G1 Beachcomber. So sorry, no precious this time. But there you have that. And here he is with the X Transbots. Beachcomber, and I definitely like the uh, X Transbots one better. I mean, this this one was a fine figure for its time, but you know, this one just looks like it came right off the screen. And you know, I'm a sucker for the cartoon accuracy. So for me personally, I like this one better. But hey, to each their own. So they have that. Here he is with Fans Toys Brawn with Fans Toys. Warpath with Masterpiece Bumblebee and with MP44 Optimus Prime. So, there you go. So there you have the Runner of Dunes, the Comer of Beaches, and uh, yeah, he's a really good figure. I do quite like him. Uh, the vehicle mode looks good, the robot mode looks good, the transformation, it works, it's smooth, it's enjoyable. All in all, I am very, very pleased with this figure, very clean transformation. Um, yeah, just, to, you know, like I said earlier in the video, just don't uh, transform his arms in the wrong order or you might break those little tabs. Um, but. Other than that, man, this is a great figure. I think it's really well done, and I very, very much like it. I am I am pleased. I am very, very pleased with this guy. So there you go. And now, if you would like this or any of a fan's toys other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out Endgames, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Fans Toys a Dune Runner, and this is Emgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Home in your face! Ah, oh, Beachcomber! Where have you been? Why are you late coming back from your patrol? Was there trouble? Ah, uh, no, no, I was just uh, taking my time, stopping to smell the flowers. Smell the flowers? We're not here to smell flowers, we're here to save the world from the Decepticons! You think the Decepticons are smelling flowers? No! You know what they're smelling? Death! Death and destruction, because that's all they live for! Let me show you something. You see this guy? Hi. Do you think he's walking around smelling flowers? No! He's doing his job! I'm important. See, he thinks he's important! Alright, get out of here! My point is, we're here to save lives, not make potpourri. Have you ever smelled potpourri? It's wonderful. Yeah, it is pretty good. I could get you some. It'll make the base smell nice. Oh, that'd be great. And right, I'll go. Yeah, the base does smell kind of drab. Wait a second. Hey! I see what you did there! <laughs>